As you probably understand from the title of this video, I'm now in the middle of my Nova year. And today I'm going to talk about my three months and how they went, where I failed, where I succeeded, uh, my budgets and all of that with the real numbers. In US dollars, by the way, okay. mostly. Uh, but you need to keep in mind that I live in Ukraine, I have a Ukrainian salary. Ukrainian salary, you want it, I have it. Ukrainian prices so probably some of the numbers will surprise you in one way or another and as a bonus uh, I prepared for my patrons a nice PDF sheet as well as the Google sheet with some nice setup uh, with the rules of a no buy period and all the other stuff that helps me to stick to it and control everything and you know what when you control something you feel a little bit calmer first of all I have my uh, notebook here where I track everything and my phone here you know with all the numbers so I occasionally will look at it let's start with the rules I had my rules for you know by year is I just mustn't buy clothes and accessories houseware technology decor alcohol stationery, furniture renovation and cosmetics in a minute you will find out that I failed at a lot of them <laughs> what are my goals for that I believe that if you don't set up the goals for you know by period it will be a lot harder to not give up so my goals are emergency fund investment be and bathroom renovation and I actually think that it's very beneficial to be as specific as you can set up as achievable goals as you can why because you um, have like real numbers that you need to achieve this uh, helps you keep track of that and stick to it and know when you're done. I think these goals should be achievable in all the cases. Like me, I actually planned to complete all of these goals um, in July, August. And I know it's not the end of the year and I'm not going to like, you know, spend all the money I have after August. It's just, I want to have some room for myself so that if I fail, if I fail once, it doesn't fuck up my whole year. And I still have room for some rearrangements uh, of my lifestyle or altering my goals or something like that you know what i mean you know life happens we are just humans we need the room for being humans i believe also i have a bunch of categories uh, where i have my budget so a limited amount of money that i can spend on it during the whole year and in the budget category i have plans going out presents books and education and whatever it's okay to spend on whatever and I have hundred dollars set up for whatever I want I guess it's very nice category to include in your budget list and this helps a lot to you know be a little bit more flexible and not to restrict yourself in everything my splurges let's talk about what I spent money on that I shouldn't probably <laughs> clothes and accessories I did that well nothing bought and the first my splurge was in the category of houseware I bought a mop <laughs> It's not something like splurgy splurgy that you bought only to treat yourself, of course. I actually had my mop broken a few months ago. And you know what? I could use it. Just I had to, you know, squish the soft part with my hands because structure that does that, it broke. So I decided to just buy a new one and not to squish it with my hands. Although I could use that broken mop if I just used it with a little bit more effort. But I still decided to buy a new mop that cost $14.50 so I include this mop for $14 in my whatever section which is super okay and um, it means that I didn't fail at all uh, technology I didn't spend anything on that but as soon as I say that I need something that's connected to technology you know some equipment stuff and my husband is like say no more and he looks for it and buys it and organizes delivery and I'm like what is that weird thing that you bought? And he's like, well, that's for you. Remember you wanted to make live streams? And I'm like, I don't remember that. And he's like, you did want to make a live stream. So I bought this, this and that to organize it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So technically I received some dopamine from having this stuff, 
but I didn't spend my money on that. So zero here, alcohol. I didn't spend anything on alcohol except in April. <laughs> But it's the whole different story because April is not included in my video. Uh, it will be included in my next video. If you want to be updated, please subscribe or just keep watching my videos. Furniture. I spent nothing here, but I put some things in my wish list. In the end of the year, I'll revise it. And if I still need some stuff, I will buy it in the end of the year, of course. And I put there a um, lamp for reading because I read mostly in the evenings and my evening light is not enough, it's like bothering me that it's too dark for reading. I think I will buy some lamp or some small flashlight to see the text. Yet I didn't spend anything on that, so I'm I'm pretty myself. Um cosmetics. Actually I bought a blush <laughs> in April, but <laughs> that's for the next video. So for now I'm good zero during these three months and we're moving to the next uh, category which is budget i'll tell you what i spent on in the budget section which you know that has plans going out prisons books and education and whatever so my plans i spent nothing in this category which is awesome because i watched some of the videos of uh, plant related content and plant collectors and i feel like it's so hard for some of them not to buy plants like at least for a month and I feel so good that I'm not that much into plants so that I just couldn't resist the temptation to buy it and I'm pretty proud of myself that I didn't buy any plants although <laughs> I'm planning to grow my um, own food in the balcony uh, this summer I really want to try that so I will probably buy some seeds soil I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy soil maybe I can have it from my mom's garden but it's now in the place where there were heavy fights we'll see <laughs> but I'm planning to buy some seeds to grow food on my balcony maybe some radish or tomatoes cucumber I think this would be so cool. Going out. I had a budget of $600 for going out. And let me see what I spent here. Well, for the three months, for the whole period, I spent $71.8. But I have to keep in mind that the last month everything was closed. And I couldn't actually go and just buy a coffee and a bun during this month. So for March, I spent only $8.2. For going out can you imagine how little is that and probably because of that the amount in total is so small i really tried to resist this temptation because i feel like i lacked it for the whole month and now i'm like i deserve that i need to go and buy this big coffee cup uh, with coffee for like 500 milliliters that i'm not able to drink this all so where are we Okay, going out, I spent $71.8 and I have $528 and $2 left for the whole year. Next one, presents. You know, uh, my husband had a birthday at the 24th of February, the same day the Russian army invaded Ukraine, which is so funny. I spent some money on presents for him. This was $32.2 and as I had the budget of $100 for presents for the whole year, uh, I have $67.8 left for presents. Uh, knowing the fact that the majority of my family left the country and went abroad, this will probably be a good year for uh, my present expenses. I'm probably not going to give them anything for their birthdays because they are abroad and it's not known when they can come back. You don't know what happens the next week, so you don't plan for the whole year. Books and education. I took two books from my colleague that lives really close to me and I'm lucky about that. But these books are not something that I want to read. So I'm this close from buying books because I need something that I'm interested in. And now I have books about marketing, which is super useful, I believe, for a lot of people, especially for me, as building sort of my, you know, brand. But I still want to read something really interesting for me and I can't find it in libraries, to be honest. So maybe I'll buy something. And it's awesome that I have a budget for it for $50 for the whole year. We'll see. I actually 
think that books cost a lot more than that. Anyways, from this $50, I spent $16.2 on membership. It was Discord membership uh, for the community that I was really interested in and I wanted to communicate uh, with some of the experts in this area, so I decided to join it. That's a lot. I don't usually spend that on some kind of memberships but if something is really interesting for me i now see that i am capable of spending a lot on that because 16 dollars is a lot for me uh what's left we have 33.8 dollars left for the whole year for booking education as i said i included mop in my whatever section so it was 14.5 dollars and I have $85.5 left from overall $100 budget for whatever I want. Apart from that no buy year thing, I have my 22 financial goals that I talked about in this video. I just want to make it clear that my no buy goals are absolute pri priority and I do everything to reach them. July, August, as I said, and it doesn't mean that after August I will, you know, spend my money on everything I want. I will still stick to the rules I created for myself. I decided to make these goals very achievable even in July to be sure that I can make it by the end of the year. And these 22 financial goals, I actually managed to complete one goal of not buying <laughs> any food delivery for a month because they just didn't work for this whole month for March. I don't know if that's like the goal completed or it's just some circumstances that I got into. But still, I had this goal, I checked it, I'm good. Documenting this all actually helps me to stick to it and not to fail that fast. So if you're interested in the same convenient spreadsheet for yourself, for your no buy setup, you can go to my Patreon page where I share it with my kitty patrons and further levels. Also, you can go ahead and watch this video, which is about the things I try to simplify my life with. And have a good day. Goodbye.